Greetings, it's Eric Packer, the naturopath. Let's talk about black seed oil, okay? Also known as like black cumin or, or um, I think it's called kalonji seed. There are many different terms for it. Black onion seed, some people call it. I've got that one in my spice uh, cabinet as well. It's quite a nice black. I like adding it to different types of rice, you know, that I cook at different times. So Nigella sativa has been used for a long time, just like uh, many other plants and seeds have been used for a long time and if you look at various studies you'll see that it's linked up with you know weight loss and with reducing parasites and all kinds of things but you know to be quite honest if you do that with any one of about 80 or 90 other different herbs or spices that i would regularly use you'll find exactly the same thing all right we can go over the benefits of about 50 different seeds like that and each seed will have its own particular benefit so to single one thing out and just to use it in large amounts in bottles and saying this is going to cure candida, it's not a good thing to do. You know? These are good adjuncts or things to add into your diet, but try not to think them, think of purely as this nigella sativa, the black seed, to like cure candida, because it doesn't work like that. It'll have a very strong particular action, like many seeds do. But remember, you want to have balanced actions in the body. You don't just want to really target one particular type of thing. This is what pharmaceutical companies do really well, is they, they look at a symptom, they look at something, how they can switch off that symptom through a highly chemicalized drug. They create that to switch that little noise off, and then all of a sudden they're seen as Mr. Wonderful. Now, in natural medicine, we don't really try and do the same thing. We don't just find one specific thing Grapefruit seed extract is an exception. Okay, grapefruit seed extract has shown, for example, and proven through many, many clinical studies to um, offer benefits on a wide range of pathogens in the body, a wide range. We're talking lots of different fungi strains, bacteria. Um, many parasites get hammered by it too, but black seed oil is not like that. It hasn't got a very big, wide therapeutic window. It's got a very narrow window, all right? Go and have a read up on Google yourself, but you'll find that it can have some effects on candida, but it's very disappointing for most people who do use it. Many, many people I know have tried black seed oil and had no results from it whatsoever, just like many other treatments. All right, so just be careful not to put all your eggs in the black seed oil basket. Right? Use it for cooking, but I wouldn't just use it specifically as an agent to target candida. Thanks for tuning in.